Hey, welcome back to my channel, this is Koro, and we've got Pokemon Sword and Shield. And, uh, yeah, I was down at the Pokemon Center earlier today, so I didn't get to play the game until later on in the day. But we're going to be uh, Pokemon Sword, because that won the uh, vote on Twitter. Well, on my Twitter account. And people wanted me to play the male character first. And I already have my own set of Nuzlocke sort of rules for myself, and, uh, yeah. So I selected that. I'm gonna name myself Aki, uh, as per tradition. And then uh, I'm gonna be also playing uh, Pokemon Shield with a female character. And uh, but for now, I'm just gonna be uh, playing as uh, Aki. Also, I got uh, a Pokemon code, which if I upload it before midnight, it will. Uh, It'll work for Pokemon Sun and Moon, and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Shiny Lugario... Lugario? Shiny Solgaria and, uh, Shiny Nunara. Hmm. Oh, there's no voice acting. Also, I'm, a uh, a game developer. Sort of. Well, game designer graduate, so I'll probably do a little bit of, uh, review as I play through Pokemon Sun and Moon. Also, that is an interesting... Tie knot. It reminds me of um the uh, skit that uh, Freddy Freddy W did a while back. That's an interesting elephant Pokemon. Also, this guy looks really sketchy. Yeah. You know, now that they are on Switch, I would imagine that they would have um, voice acting, considering the fact that they're no longer working on the National Pokedex. So I imagine that they will be uh, using voice acting. I also noticed that the character models are a lot different. They're definitely using a different engine from um, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. The models are the same as Pikachu and Eevee. Oh, that's a fancy place. Who's this? Elite Four? Obviously a rival. Dynamax Charizard. And welcome to Pokemon Sword. Okay, we've got a sheep. I think it's called a Wooloo. Who's this? Oh, this is our rival. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell... Yeah. They're using... The... Not only are they using a different engine, they're definitely using high quality, um, they're definitely using more assets because with Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, it's still, it still had that nostalgia, like, it, it didn't feel as advanced. So I, I, I think they're using a more powerful engine. Possibly. They're definitely using a um, fancy camera. Yeah, they're using a fancy camera um, system. But in terms of the assets, I don't think the static ob like static objects. They're definitely individual assets that's been uh, placed into the world. So, just designing that is going to take quite a long time. Which could explain why they haven't got the um, entire Pokemon. Well, National Pokedex in the game. And I wouldn't call that a backpack. That's more like a briefcase. 
Okay, so we also got a mirror over there. We've got X, typical stuff. Okay, we've got the, uh... Yeah! It looks like there's more assets in this game than you would expect. Oh, and there's a loading screen. I'm not too sure about the um, buildings and stuff and the way it's shaded. The Pokemon are definitely a different shading. This is very weird. Okay. Why is it headbutting the gate? Woo. Okay. Slumbering wood. Okay, so we're going to go over to his house. There's a butterfree over there. It does look a little bit mix and match, but between the assets and the characters and the Pokemon. The building's definitely bigger. Then again, creating like um, a terrain, followed by like buildings and stuff, that's not too hard. Like making the assets into the correct shape isn't hard unless you're trying to create like the fine details. And then after that, it's just a matter of skinning it. Which will, I will admit, does take quite a lot of time unless you have like a lot of people um, working on a team to get it complete. But the problem is when you have too many people working on too many different things, you could get stuff like that pot of plant on the tabletop counter on the top, like, on the left side of the screen, like, fur furthest on the left. That's actually really high detail. So that plant down there is a lot higher detail than the uh, pot on the table. So you end up with this situation where... Some items may look better than others because they're designed by different people. Although the overworld Pokemon looks different. The Kanto ones, like Charizard from what I can see so far, looks like a, it was taken from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Okay, no loading screen there. Where are we going? We're going to train station. This feels like uh, the countryside. Maybe Cotswold. Oh yeah. Oh sorry, I'm from the UK, so effectively I'm playing in the Pokemon version of my home country. Right. We're gonna head towards that crowd. I need a new backpack. Oh, I also need to redeem all the codes that I got today. <laughs> From like the day one release and stuff. Yeah, that Charizard is definitely from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Oh yeah, and also if they're using a different engine, one of the problems with importing, like, importing character models isn't hard. It's a matter of rigging it and animating the character, like, the, uh, models. And considering that this is, like, 1,000 Pokemon now, it's a pain to actually do the bug test scenes to make sure that every single one of them is working with no glitches in animation. Any effects, etc. Not to mention the uh, interaction with the uh, actual building. I'm not actually reading the comments. So, Leon's called Lee by Hop. Yeah, I'm Aki. I'm going to become the best Pokemon trainer ever. 
a massive Charizard. Yeah. I want to know what Pokemon I'm going to get. I'm going to get Score Bunny. So when I become champion, do I get to like invent my own pose or something? Hey, you just did your Charizard! Okay. So the professor isn't going to give me the Pokemon, but Leon is. Okay. Grokey. The fire type Score Bunny. And a water type Sobel. So, Score Bunny is going to be my first Pokemon. Also, I'm going to try and find a way to get Grokey and uh, Sobel. So, my aim is to have all three starter Pokemon. First one will call call for night, and then uh, yeah. Oh, he's such a crybaby. That's quite adorable. Yeah, and I have to admit, when you're making cutscenes like these, it takes a lot of time. I remember one of my friends making a, like a dynamic toothbrush in one of our classes at university. That was a uh, interesting experience. Um, anyways, I'm going to select Score Bunny because ever since my first ever Pokemon game with Pokemon Silver, I have been selecting a fire type all the way through. And I'm not going to break that tradition. So Score Bunny's going to be my partner. Uh, unlike other Nos Nuzlockers, I'm not going to name my Pokemon anything special. I prefer keeping it as their original names. If Ash isn't going to nickname his Pokemon, I'm not going to nickname mine. We can still build a bond without giving them silly nicknames. Maybe I'll give him a nickname, but I'm not going to rename him in the game. So, you're going to select Grokey. Grokey and Voodoo. Right. And you're going to take... Oh, poor Sobel. And you're going to take Sobel. Okay. This is interesting. So the champion is going to pick up a starter Pokemon and raise it into becoming a, one of our rivals. Seriously. Our mother is wearing, like, pretty horrible looking boots. And just like a... What's his name in Sun and Moon? Hop is interesting in food. Oh, look at that kebab. Is that a kebab? A kebab? Barbecue. Actually, I'm starting to feel hungry. The next day. Right. Okay. So the goal is to become the champion of the Gala region. That's not unoriginal, but we'll see about that. Jim Battles is back is back in the game. I'm I'm wondering what else is gonna be different. And I'm going to battle Hop as per tradition. We're gonna be battling our rival. Here we go. Let's see if we're gonna be Battling on a special field. Okay, here we go. Will we be changing scenes? Okay. Yeah. There is a different scene. So this is a completely different um, map from the actual other map. So the camera isn't zoomed in or anything. We only have two moves. Tackle and growl. Wait, he has Wooloo? 
What about Grokey? Oh, you have two Pokemon. That's not fair. Ah, please respond. Okay, so the withdrawing animation is exactly the same. Oh, and we learned Ember. I also picked up a uh, score buddy from the London Pokemon Center. Here we go, we got Grokey. We're gonna hit it with Ember. Yeah, I already knew about type advantages. I'm a veteran, so don't look down on me. Because you're about to uh, bite the dust. Looks like there's some new animations as well for the in between of the Pokemon battles. There we go. We leveled up. That's good. Trying to figure out what engine they're using. I think it's def it's definitely in-house. It's not. It doesn't feel like Unity or a real engine for. The gym battles. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely ready. We do have a whole lot to learn. Also, I have another goal in mind. I'm going to capture all the Gala Pokemon. No other region Pokemon matters. Because I can just import them from uh, Pokemon Bank. So, capturing Pokemon is no longer an issue for me. So, in a sense, not to be biased. Them not focusing too much on the National Pokedex and importing every single Pokemon might actually be a decent decision on the the half oh there's a crash did wulu wulu might have succeeded he actually crashed through the gate <laughs> it was not tackling very hard it was just like roll out the professor's granddaughter she came back in a real state okay We've got to save it. I wonder who the uh, Professor Scrandalter is. Oh, the Sumbling World. World? How do you even pronounce that word? Is this supposed to be wild? Or forest? What the heck is a world? Well, at least they got a, um... Oh, they got a battle. Uh, Swarford? I don't think we have any Pokeballs. Do we have Pokeballs? No, we don't have Pokeballs. I do like the, um... Effects. No. Once I remember the word, I will probably use the correct term. Oh, we're level 7 already. I didn't expect that. I do like the grass. That's being animated in a decent way. Um. Oh. Another battle. Yes, we need to capture one of these. Look at these. Unnerve. Ah! We might need to capture a Ditto so that we can breed some uh, other Pokemon, so to speak. Okay, our defense fell. We're gonna tackle. There we go. 
Nice one. Why are we creeping? Ooh, there's a mysterious how. Uh, yes. Oh, we've got a free hill. Also, I'm hoping to get a poker for us. Oh, I also love the um, Pokemon meme that they did with the squirrel Pokemon. It looks like Peter Griffin from uh, Family Guy. Okay, sit and also tackle. Right, we've got some EXP. I know what it's called, Particle Engine. The miss is actually a pretty interesting use of Particle Engine. I think, it, I think that's a Particle Engine. Like Particle Effects. Although it could be just like a uh, Fog of War type of set, set up. What's going to happen? Oh, what's that? That looks a little bit like the legendary Pokemon. But without the sword. Rard. Oh. Oh, I'm not ready for this. What? Level question mark with... Question mark for night. Okay. Are you mercing me? With me? Oh. Is that a ghost type? It might be an illusion. Okay, we're gonna use tackle. Yeah, we're not hitting it. Ooh, generally quite a lot of miss. Yeah, we can't see anything. But, uh, we're gonna just recklessly hit it with Ember. We missed again. More miss! I can't see anything. Maybe it's, uh, it's breath. You know, because the UK is quite cold, and usually when it's cold, when we breathe out, there's condensation. So it could be condensation. Oh, we blacked out. Oh, yeah, we, <laughs> we did black out. That was a uh, predictable. Oh, it's Leon. How did you manage to find your way here? Your pants of direction, you'll get lost. Okay. Oh, Charizard already found Bulu. Maybe Charizard's trying to eat Bulu. Okay, I might be skipping through the text a little bit too quickly, but we'll save time. Right. Let me tell. Oh, we're going to Wedgehurst. Where's Wedgehurst? Well, I think. Oh, so the starting town is Postwick. Okay, so I think. Oh, there's two of them now. Uh, yeah, I think we should end the episode here, and then, uh, 
I'll upload the next part whenever it's ready, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching that video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please consider liking and subscribing. You can also drop any comments in the comments below. Hit the bell icon to turn on notifications so you can get updates on uh, my video uploads. You can also follow me on Twitter at Kuroaki Games or search for my videos with hashtag Kuroaki Games or add me on Instagram at Kuroaki Games. Uh, also consider clicking on other videos and I'll see you in the next one.